This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we are going over advanced scanning options in Nmap. Now, we already know that there are numerous ways to scan a target in Nmap, from the discovery options that we learned last week to the default scanning options that we've used since the beginning. There are other options that I wanted to cover for user selectable scan types, instead of the basic TCP scan like Nmap usually does. These advanced options are good to know if you're scanning an uncommon tar target or you need to use a specific service. Similar to last week, sudo is required for a lot of these options. So the first option that I wanted to cover is TACSS. This performs a TCP SYN scan. This option will send a SYN packet, which is short for synchronize, to the target and wait for a response. Some servers won't be able to detect a SYN probe, but just don't count on that if you're expecting nobody to see you. Now this command is gonna look something like this. You'll type in nmap and then tack lowercase s, uppercase s, 10.73.31.145. Now if I'm correct, yes, it does require sudo. So I'm gonna add sudo to the beginning of this and run it. Type in the password. So you get a response back similar to the ones that we've seen previously with the open ports and if any closed ports are there, it will also state those up above. Now if required, of course, put sudo at the beginning so that you are able to gain root privileges. Now next up is the ST option, which is it performs a TCP connect scan. Now this is the default for non-root users, so you're probably already running this kind of scan, but just in case you didn't know about it, here you go. It will attempt to connect to the target without any kind of stealthy mode. So to do this one, you would type in nmap, tac s, capital T, 10.73, or whatever your target is, dot one, four, five. And again, it's going to look similar to the outputs we've seen previously. You will notice though that running this, that sometimes our first option with tac ss for SYN packets does end up being a lot faster. Now another option would be the TAC S capital U option, which is scanning for UDP, which is user datagr datagram protocol. For this one, you would type in sudo nmap TAC S U and then your target. Now for this one and a TCP null scan, which is TAC N option, a TCP null is used to trick a target into thinking that it is probing with TCP. So it still generates a response. Now before we take a break, the last option I wanted to share is the TACSF option for a TCP FIN scan. This is used to solicit a TCP ACK for acknowledge, uh, that kind of packet, from a target. It can also be used on a target protected by a firewall. Now let's go ahead and take a quick break, but we will be right back after the sponsor. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. It can type scripts into your computer crazy, crazy fast, like this week's pick from 3699N in the Hack5 forums. He shares a command that will continuously run a batch file on a Windows machine until the PC finally crashes. Because why not? <laughs> we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. You can use the coupon code SNUBS, that's me, with any order for your very own signed Hack Tip stickers. Aren't they cute? Even Darren signed it. Thank you so much for supporting the show, and of course, we couldn't do it without you. We're back with some more advanced scanning options, and we have just a few more to share, so bear with me. First off is the TAC SX option, which looks kind of like this. For this one, you do need to use sudo, so sudo nmap TAC S capital X, and then your target. So mine, I just love using this target, it's a great example. It worked! So basically this one is said to light up the packet like a Christmas tree, hence the name which is an Xmas scan. That's weird. Nmap sends packets which with URG, which means urgent, FIN, which closes a connection, and PSH for push active. Next we have a fun one called scan flags. 
scan vlogs, this will let you run a custom scan, scan with your very own choices of packets. So you don't have to do a separate scan every time you want to do a SIN scan or ACK or PUSH or FIN or whatever you want. So you can use SIN, ACK, PUSH, URGE or URG for urgent, RST for reset, and then FIN. So it would look something like this. I would type in NMAP and then TAC TAC or dash dash scan flags and whichever ones I wanted to type in. So for this example, I'm gonna use ACK and PSH for push. 10.73.31.145, my example scanner. So it's going to scan and it'll push out any information that it gets from those two different protocols. So TCP ACK scans, those are my next ones, are very simple. You can just use that by adding S a, a capital A to your command. And this is also useful to find out if the target is protected by any kind of firewall. If you see a line in your output that says a number and then filtered ports, chances are those ports are protected by some kind of firewall. Now, if you're unsure which scan to use, which kind of might come up for you, start with an IP protocol scan to show you what protocols are available on this specific target. For this example, you would type in nmap and then TAC S capital O, not zero, 10.73.31.145, or your target. Oops, I forgot my sudo. Let me type sudo. Apparently I can't type it all today. There we go. So this is going to take a little bit longer, but once it finishes up, your target will show you the protocol, state, and the service that it is running. Remember that handy, handy table that we linked to last week that shows all of the popular protocols and their common associated numbers? This is very, very handy to use whenever you're using this specific targeting uh, command. So there is a way to send raw ethernet packets as well too if you're interested. Not as useful as other ones, but it is still handy to know. So for this example, you don't need sudo for it, but you just type in nmap, TAC TAC SEND, TAC ETH for Ethernet, and then 10.73.31, and whatever your target is, and it'll go ahead and give you the same uh, simple output. And this is also naturally implied, so generally you don't really need to use it. And lastly, you can also alternatively use raw IP packets, and for this one you would type in something similar, and instead of ETH, you would type in IP and press enter. So you'll get kind of the same output as you've similarly seen in the past. This is also automatically implied, so it's rare that you would actually have to write it out. Now, what would you like to see next about Nmap? I've been getting a ton of really good feedback from you guys, so I appreciate everybody that's been sending in emails about them. Although I'm not able to you know, reply to every single one, I do appreciate each and every one that you've been sending, so thank you so much. Now you can send me a comment below or you can email us as usual over at tips at hack5.org. If you like Nmap, perhaps you'll enjoy Metasploit Minute, of course, with Mubix, airing every Wednesday over at hak5.org. And be sure to check out Hack5 it's our sister show. We've been doing great stuff over there since 2005, and I love, love, love working with them. I'll be over there reminding you, as usual, to trust your technolust. See ya!